Hey guys, Johnny here, bringing you another Pixel Street vid, and it finally happened. Uh, we got our first Nintendo Direct in probably about a year. It's been a long time since we got one. A lot of people have been complaining that there hasn't been one for a while. Uh, today was completely focused on Super Mario, as it's the 35th anniversary of the original Super Mario Brothers game releasing. So tons and tons of Mario stuff coming out. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick breakdown of what you need to know and kind of why I'm so excited for this. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter at Pixel Street Pod, you can vote in a poll right now um, saying what your most hyped uh, announcement is from this. You can also follow me on Twitter at Revic Shadows. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into this here. Um, so first off, I'm not going to go in the same order that they release things on here because I have to get to my most hype announcement first. Super Mario 3D All-Stars is a real thing. This has been rumored pretty much the better part of all year that uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy would be coming to the Switch. There was some talk about it being remastered or a remake. Uh, this is kind of a remaster, not... It, they didn't really like change up the graphics at all, but they're changing the resolution of all three games. Uh, all three are going to be in a package that you can pre-order on the Switch. Uh, there is also a um, physical edition. One really odd thing about this, and also another thing that I'm going to get to here in a little bit, is that the game is limited. Not only physically, but digitally as well. So... They said that the physical release is going to be just a limited thing. They didn't give, like, any cutoff on that, so just limited quantities. I made sure to pre-order that as fast as I could. But the weird thing is, is that the digital game, the pack with all three games, is only going to be available until the end of March. There's... My first thought of this is, why would they do that? Especially for the digital. Okay, whatever. Physical can have a limited release and everything. That's fine. But for them to take away the digital really makes me think that we're potentially set up to get the Nintendo 64 uh, group of games sometime next year. Um, <clears throat> because why else would they take that down? Or maybe GameCube games as well. Um there's just no real good reason to take that down without, like, some kind of ulterior motive there. Um, I honestly have no idea. That's just a guess on my part. You, let me know in the comments what you think. But I hope it means that we're getting Nintendo 64 games, like we have the NES and SNES games already. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, Super Mario 3D World is on its way to the Switch as well. Uh, I did see that the game will have online multiplayer, which is unlike the Wii U port of the game. This will also have some brand new content. I think it was called Bowser's Fury. <clears throat> they didn't really show... This is like all they showed of it is just like a rainy area. This is probably a new world, new section of the game. I personally never had a Wii U, so I never played this. Going to be very excited to give this a try when it comes out. Um, whatever all of this is. I'm, yeah, Bowser's Fury. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, I think. So uh, definitely stay tuned to this. Uh, when this comes out in February, we're definitely going to be putting up some new videos here on that. Um, a brand new competitive Mario Battle Royale game is coming to Switch as well. Uh, this is going to be exclusively digital. And this is the other thing that is limited release, which doesn't make sense to me. As you can see in the background here, it's 35 people playing through Super Mario Brothers. This is pretty much Tetris 99, but with Super Mario. Like, it's everything from Tetris 99 is here, from the changing the thing with the right stick and everything. Uh and you just go until you're the last one standing, or running, as they say. So it's going to be available October 1st, but if you look on the right here, playable until March 31st. Not only will it not be able to be bought, they're completely shutting the game off on March 31st. That, 
I have no idea what that's about. Like, I, I can, with the 3D All-Stars, I can guess, okay, maybe they're taking that down because they don't want people buying Mario 64 if they're going to be putting it on the Nintendo 64 collection there. For them to completely take off this Battle Royale only like five months after they put it live, I really, I have no idea what the thinking is there. Like, why even make it in the first place? Regardless, be sure to stay tuned here. We're going to be doing some videos on that when it comes out. Uh, another new announcement is a kind of Mario Kart game. As you can see here, uh, the kid is racing around a Mario RC car through his living room, and he's racing against the Koopa kids. So the, I don't think they announced a price for this or anything, but you set up your track here, and it you can like set it up in a whole bunch of different ways through these uh, gate posts and everything. And it's local multiplayer only, or if you're just doing single player, you can race against the Koopa Kids. This is a really cool idea with these like little carts that have the camera on them. It's, I'm going to be very interested to see just how well this works. Uh, Nintendo has a pretty damn good history of making sure their Switch accessories are just top of the line, at least for this. So, like When you look back at the Wii era, those accessories were a little hit and miss. The Switch accessories, for the most part, are just awesome. Like, they work very well. So I'm going to be very excited to give this a try when it comes out in October. I'm a little disappointed it's not Mario Kart 9 like I want. But hey, this is still a pretty cool announcement. Um, besides this, there wasn't too much more. They kind of announced a bunch of merchandise stuff. Uh, they showed off some shoes, some overalls, uh, right here. There's like a bunch of rewards available on the Nintendo website where you can get like pins and I think there was like a sticker thing or something. Um, whatever. That, that's just little stuff. Mario Kart Tour is getting a sprite update with Mario and Donkey Kong Jr. Cool. Not for me, but... It, it's it's just so good to see Nintendo, like, making big announcements again. Um, everyone's been talking all year about how they just, they're so quiet. Uh, I mean, they announced Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and for a while that was looking like that was going to be their big game for the year. Obviously now it's not because you have all of this Mario stuff and as well as there's a bunch of Mario themed stuff in Smash Brothers and Splatoon coming up. Um, overall, I love all this stuff. Um, I have said before on the podcast that Super Mario 64 was my first game I ever played. So it just holds such a special place in my heart that... No matter how many times they re-release that, I am going to buy it, and I am going to play through and get all 120 stars again. Um, and then Mario Sunshine and Galaxy being on there, those are great games as well. I know some people complain about Sunshine, but I like it. Um, it's just so much cool Mario stuff on its way. Uh, definitely, I would say, especially if you're looking to get the Mario 3D All-Stars, Definitely pre-order that as soon as you can. As of this recording, I've only seen it go live on Best Buy. And, like, they didn't even have the image for it yet, but it let me pre-order it. So hopefully that stays through and I get it like it says I will. Regardless, so excited. Um, they also announced uh, two new Amiibos. There's Cat, Mario, and Peach Amiibos coming for 3D World. Um, Super Mario All-Stars, the original 2D one, is coming to the SNES collection today on Switch, so you can play through all of those games. Um, regardless, man, this was just a really cool Direct. Uh, just seeing this, it just makes me so happy, man. Uh, I would have, I don't know, I think I would have liked to see them try and mess with the Mario 64 screen a little bit. Um maybe do a little bit of a rework into it so that you could play it on a wider screen. Because even on the Switch, you have to play it in a in its original aspect ratio, which is fine. Um, I guess you don't... Some people don't like playing in a stretched screen. 
I don't know. Um, regardless, really cool announcements. I'm so excited. I am through the roof. This I, I tweeted earlier that this is the happiest I have been all year long. Um, 2020 has been a rough year, but stuff like this, uh, it gets my heart. Um, yeah, if you liked the video, leave a like below. Comment and let us know what you think of the announcements. Are you going to get any of this stuff? I know I'm going to be getting pretty much everything I can out of this because the, it, it just makes me so happy. Uh, subscribe to see more of our videos. And uh, yeah, check out our Pixel Street, Vod <laughs> Pixel Street podcast videos. Um, some really cool stuff coming up here. Uh, the day after this video goes live, our podcast with Craig Skistmas of Screw Attack, Game Attack, and the Craig Skits podcast will be going live. So uh, some definitely exciting stuff going on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm John Hansen. You can catch us later. Bye.